Hey y'all, it's your girl Suzette with Crafting with Susie coming to you today with a post review. This is my uh, birthday diamond painting, but before I get into all of that, if you're new to my channel and you like what you see, please hit the like button. Don't forget to comment and subscribe and also hit the notification bell so you get notified of when I do my next upload here on YouTube. <clears throat> Excuse me. I also put notification information on my Instagram page. I'll be sure to put that link in the description box below. And if you've been back to see me several times, thank you so much for your support. I love reading your words of encouragement. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Alrighty guys, so here we have it, finally. Finally. This took me longer than it should have <laughs> because I've been doing other stuff, anywho. But let me just say, first things first, I absolutely love it. I think it came out very well. I have not unboxed this diamond painting on my channel, uh, basically because it's just an oldie but goodie. And it's been around for a long time, so I know a lot of people have already seen it, so I didn't even do an unboxing. But I've bought it for specific reasons. I'll go into that when I show it to you all. Basically, you'll see it when I show it to you. But I did buy it for those specific reasons. Um, <clears throat> also, I have to say there are good and there are some troublesome. I know people don't like the B word. So troublesome issues that I had while doing this uh, canvas and we'll go over all of that. I'll tell you guys about the changes I've made, what I use, where I got it from, all of the things. So let's get into it. And what we have here is the captain. <clears throat> this is a round diamond art club. It's 12 colors and I believe it's, let me get the size, I'm so sorry. It is 50, 51 by 76 centimeters. <clears throat> and as you can plainly see, I did change the skin tone. Uh, that was the purpose of me purchasing it. Um, that's what I wanted to do when I bought it. I think I made it paid, no lie, $20 for this. If, $20, $25 at the very most. I've had it for a long time. But maybe, maybe $25. Very nice diamond painting. <clears throat> beautiful, beautiful, bright colors. The ABs uh, were awesome. And the only thing that I did change was the skin tone. And because it's pop art, I left the the black lines in the face and hands and things like that. I didn't mess with that because it's supposed to be there. Um, so let's see. Okay, let's just talk about the good part. The All the drills were great except 310. And I think we pretty much know that by now, the older 310 are pretty trashy. Um, like having the sticks, misshapen drills, the hollow backs, things like that. So I experienced quite a bit of that. Some had holes, some of the drills had holes, not that many, but it was the 310 mostly. And I can honestly say that the glue, the glue was not all that hot. I will be selling this. So when I say the glue is not all that hot, I mean, when you, of course, when we look at diamond paintings, we're not supposed to be standing like a few inches away from it. We're supposed to be standing back from it. So that's why you see it as you do at home. But uh, I could put down drills and I'm telling you, they move. So for example, um, how with the 310 is usually the black background with the white circle. When you put the 310 drill down, you shouldn't see the white circle. I could lay the 310 drill down, then go on about my business, continuing to lay more. When you go back and look, they've moved. You can see the white circle. 
even when I tried to take the straightener to try to straighten it all out, eh -eh, they still moved. To me, that's the glue. That could be because it's an older diamond painting. I don't know. But I didn't feel like they were popping, like coming off, but they moved. <laughs> I didn't notice that though. Now that I'm saying it, I didn't notice that with the ABs though. I didn't, but that 310 and that red, I, I, I would even say me putting the skin tone down, but those were drills that I bought separately. No, and I didn't notice with the ABs, but that red and that black, yes. And her jacket and everything, they look good, child. They look good. Anywho, black is beautiful. Let me go on here. So anywho, yes, that was my biggest, biggest issue. Me feeling like... I hope you guys can really see. I don't want you guys to be able to really see. Me feeling like the drills are moving. Um, and then the 310 was a little sloppy. Otherwise, it was fine. Everything was fine. Um, I decided to keep her hair uh, the same color. Um, yes, she pulled it off. And... I decided to make them two different skin tones on purpose. And I would tell you guys a story. So I was with my daughter, Elena, in uh, Joanne Fabrics. And I had shown her the color that I was using for the Captain skin tone. And I said, do you think this is too dark? And she said, there's no such thing. So I made sure that I used the one that I initially picked up because that is what I really wanted to use. And I did get a lighter tone. And then when I had the painting for so long, I started thinking, should I flip flop it and make the um, flight attendant the darker tone? But I just decided to leave it how I initially thought about it. And I'm glad I did because it looks so good. It looks so good. So the drills from the skin tone, um, I got them from Joanne Fabrics, they're diamond dots. And I can tell you his skin tone was <clears throat> number 8402. And her skin tone is 8368. So he's 8402 and she's 8368. Diamond dots does not use DMC codes. They use their own um, coloring chart and with them using their own coloring chart. Um, you can look it up on Google to see how to convert DMC to diamond dots. So, but I didn't have to do all that. I just chose what my eyes saw and what I liked. This is the color that was initially chosen for their skin tone. This is Oops, there we go. 3727. It's very pink. So this is what initially was chosen. I will put a picture of the original artwork in the uh, in the video so you guys can see what it's um, supposed to originally look like. But this is DIY. Diamond paintings don't have to be done exactly charted um, as they're given to you. You can make changes. People add special drills. People add ABs. People change colors. I've seen it all. This is not the first time I have changed skin tone. Um, but I think this is the first time that I have actually done such a drastic change. I did have rainbow lollipop that I did from an Abler's Outpost. The skin tone drills were red. I changed them. I did not even use them. I got a different color and used that for her skin tone and it was color blocking so it was easy. Um, I will also tell you because on the canvas the area for the skin tone for the captain and the flight attendant is pink. 
So of course, when you lay down these uh, brown drills and the different shades, which you see behind it is pink. So I had to use a method. Um, I know people use mica powder. I didn't use mica powder. I used eyeshadow. <laughs> I did. I used eyeshadow and it took me a while because I didn't want to like be heavy handed. I didn't want to make a mess with it. I wanted to take it nice and slow and I got a lighter brow tone for her and a darker one like that I would use for the crease of my eye for him and I had to dab it on. Do I have a brush up here? Let me go grab one. Okay, I'm just gonna show you an example. This is this is just an example. Like this stuff is old, I wouldn't put this stuff on my face. But that brown there, that's what I used for him. And you see it's matte. And I would just take a regular old Schmegler makeup brush, dip it on there and then onto the canvas. That's what I did and I made small little circles and then I will go back and wipe off the excess. I would let it sit, then come back maybe the next day and wipe off the excess. Um, I initially did his face and then I thought, stop, don't do, don't do any more until I complete the painting because I just didn't want to have any problems with smudging or smearing or anything. I wanted to make sure everything was clean and ready to go. So, that's how, oops, sorry, I got the background to look like it's supposed to be that color. And I know I first saw that method with oh, Jada Gem Shop, and I've also seen Amalia do it. So Jada Gem Shop, I think she used the mica powder. But Amalia, I think I'm almost for certain she just used some kind of powder she had at home. So that's what I did. It looks good. It really looks good. I just, I rolled it, I straightened it as much as I possibly could. And I'll probably go back through to try to straighten some drills up some more. But yes, this one will be sealed. And yes, I do plan on framing this one. I think. I think it looks really, really good. I'm actually very proud of it. This whole background, the the reflection here, this whole background, all that yellow, even behind her, is all ABs. Their collars, their cuffs, uh, his shirt, that's all ABs. Up in the corner on the the left, that white. That's all Aurora Borealis. His stripes here, all Aurora Borealis. So it was a lot of ABs. Uh, even though it was only two colors, it was set up so well. It looks really good. Um, second. But this, it looks really good, guys. Tell me what you think. Let me know what you all think about it. I think it turned out great. I'm so glad that I chose this one to do for my birthday, for my 50th. It was a diamond painting that I knew I could finish. It was one that I knew I wanted to make my own and I just think it came out gorgeous. I really do. So if you all think about making any type of changes, this doesn't have to be something like this, but if you think about making any kind of changes with your um, diamond paintings, you can, it's okay. You don't have to have it where it's exactly how it's laid out on the canvas. You can make your changes to it and if you don't like it, you can change it back. So I'm just gonna show you all the way down to the bottom there, that's what it looks like. And yes, I just put this washi tape around it because of the glue. Remember, this is older, so some the glue kind of runs off a little bit. So just to cover the glue up. And I will make sure that I double check that uh, it's still available. 
usually you know how they do they'll do a restock or so and so but i love it they're so cute all right you guys i'm gonna let you guys go let me know what you all think leave me an airplane emoji if you stay to the end of this video thank you so very much supporting my channel you all remember to stay beautiful and stay blessed bye Thank <laughs> you.